Hey, I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm gonna be kicking my dad's ass all day today. Come on, Stewie. You're acting crazy out there, man. I remember. I remember the worry, worry. How could I ever forget? The hurt doesn't show, but the pain still grows. No stranger to you and me. Sorry, Sierra Tango 817. All our runways are filled. But it looks empty from up here. We're almost out of fuel. No, no, no room at all. But lucky for you, there's a big new airport out in the middle of the ocean. Keep going. You can't miss it. Roger that. Oops. Well, look at it this way. I just got you on next year's Oscar telecast. You'll be right after Ron Howard. <laughs> just messing with you, Ron. Or maybe not. No, seriously, I am. Or am I? No. So long, puss. We'll miss you. It's gonna be quite a different place with him gone, that's for true. He takes the beam. The spectators hold their breath. As Stewie Griffin is America's last hope to take home the gold. Oh, oh, did you see that, Mitch? I sure did, Kathy. That was impressive. Here comes the dismount. <sighs> I think I'm okay. Ah! Ah! Uh-oh! 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 Oh, God! Somebody! Do I take it out or do I leave it in? Do I take it out or do I leave it in? Ah! You know, it would be fun to write some new songs. You know what else is fun? Watching Mr. Belvedere without people talking so loud. So I was thinking we could... Streaks on the China! Never met it before! Who cared? When you drop kick your jacket! When you came through the door, no one glared! So my advice to the two of you would be... According to our new arrival, life is more than mere survival! And we just might live the good life yet! Crying, baby. I'll take him out. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, that, that stuff about spending the day together tomorrow, um, I, I forgot, actually. I have a thing. But, uh, you know, you have my email address, so drop me a line and then I'll have yours. And uh, we'll take it from there. So, um... Boop, boop. You belly button. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> How does it smell, dog? Does it smell like servitude? <laughs> Half torpedoes, fire! Uh, Mr. Tucker, uh, it seems your son Jake had some vodka at the school dance, and uh, Chris got blamed for it. This, uh, this, this whole situation has just turned his whole life upside down face. Ew, gross! You know what else is gross? <laughs> ah, broke a damn blood vessel! <laughs> Wow, you know, you're right. Maybe I should just try a whole new approach. Thanks. Okay, you can stop that now. I can't hear you! I'm a robot! Come on, knock it off. Does not compute. Ooh. I'm going to bed. I do not require sleep. Boop. <laughs> uh, let's see the kid with the hearing aid from Barney do this. Hey! Do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty! Megan Lowriders. Ugh, enough of that. Go away, damn you! Oh, you're going to get it now! <laughs> Meg! Meg, I'm hungry! There's a granola bar in the cupboard! I want it! Hey! Hey! What's this? What's going on? Am I talking to myself up there? Oh my god, Stewie, just shut up and go to bed! Do you know what I do, Meg? I spit in your mouth while you sleep. Uh, tonight the babysitter comes, Rupert. Lovely Ladan. Mmm. Oh, hey, Ladan. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Yeah. Oh, just me, Stewie. Just uh, being myself. 
yeah. Oh, oh, well, well, this here? Oh, it's just my package. Yeah, just, just, uh, just uh, my package. God delivered it. I signed for it. The world keeps on spinning. Yeah. Stewie, no! That is a bad place to touch. No, 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 no. But, 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 but I, I, you, I, I... No more TV. Well, how about no more job? Hmm? You hear that, Miss Fussy Bridges? I shall see you fired, damn you! Listen, I certainly hope you'll excuse last night's indiscretion. It was just... Oh, my God, Ladon, what's that on your neck? <laughs> oh, no, Rupert, we're out of gas. we better ask directions at that creepy and possibly haunted house. Ah! A ghost! Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We got away just in time. Peter, there's, there's so much duty in here. I, I, I can't take it anymore. I haven't eaten in four days because I... Because cause I, I just can't fit anymore in there. Help me. And the Grammy for Album of the Year goes to Justin Timberlake. <laughs> ha! It actually goes to Nelly. Nelly. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. But I, I, I can hear you, but I can't see. Really, must really be gone. Peekaboo! Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Well, Brian, I know you're upset now, but if there's anything I've learned in this life, it's that you can't let the little things... Hey! Hey! Where's my money? Don't you walk out on me! I can be sexy. <laughs> look, turn around, look at my fanny, look at my fanny, look at my fanny. How you, uh, how you coming on that novel you're working on? Huh? Got a big, uh... Big stack of papers there. Got a got a compelling protagonist. Yeah, got a uh, got a obstacle for him to overcome. Yeah, little story brewing there. Working on, working on that for quite some time, huh? Yeah, talking about that three years ago. Yeah, been working on that the whole time. At the end, your uh, main character is uh, richer for the experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to no, no. You you deserve some time off. You know. Uh, Novel you've been working on, you know the the one uh, you've been working on for three years, you know the the novel. You got something new to write about now, you know. Maybe uh, maybe your main character gets into a relationship. Little uh, little heartbreak, you know. Work it into the story. Make those characters a little more three dimensional. Little uh, richer experience for the reader. Some twists and turns. Little epilogue. Everybody learns the hero's journey isn't always a happy one. Yeah, I look forward to reading it. I read your article too, Brian. Seems to me you should spend less time working for the paper and more time working on that novel you've been working on. You know what I mean? ah!